Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video I will continue on the series of uh, snowflake tower to make uh, the external uh, curtain panel uh, made out of the adaptive component and uh, we also need to create the architectural form that's going to help us to make the uh, automated slab or floor detection here in uh, Revit so uh, basically we, we was talking before about uh, making horizontal and vertical cuts of a laser cutting uh, defining slabs or defining sections inside Dynamo but now we need to start sending information from Dynamo and make it uh, uh, more useful, more practical by sending it directly to Revit. Uh, before I'm starting with this video making the adaptive component and the cladding for the external part of this tower, I just wanted to say that uh, I change uh, in the lower profile uh, the P1 I switch it to 70 and the E1 I switch it to 65 just to fix some distortion happening in one of those curves uh, it couldn't uh, just actually uh, uh, just uh, blend smoothly between the first and the second step anyway so here and here guys uh, if you remember we have two uh, object the solid one and just stops in here to this triangle and then we have the surface one which actually goes up to the crown and create the shape that we have in here so I'm gonna depend on that and I will start by adding a, a topology to get the faces out of uh, this uh, poly surface because that actually goes for all the surface in the geometry so I'm gonna give that to a topology changing those uh, into a faces instead of uh, a poly surface and then back that faces or get from that faces I'm gonna get a surface geometry this step will help me to get the an individual surface out of this poly surface so uh, at the end of this run uh, if you open this you're gonna find the 13 surface or subsurface instead of the entire geometry in here so if you click here you're gonna get that uh, this is number zero that's one that's two and so on probably it would be a great idea if I turn off this one and probably even this one and then I can just go ahead and trace whatever faces that I have in this uh, model so uh, by that probably zero I want it and then one two no and then three you see it's uh, also wanted and then five and six and five and seven and nine and then eleven so we need in this case to get uh, list dot get item and connect this list to the group or list of surfaces and then we need an indexes to be grouped out and I'm gonna select 0 3 5 7 9 and 11 so 0 3 5 7 9 and 11 those are just what I just you know the surfaces that I was just showing you now to be selected I don't want those you know like made out of the curves I'll just give them a solid wall later on so I'm, I'm just gonna divide those major planes here or surfaces so if I run it it's gonna just get me those surfaces out in this list dot get item at index now I'm gonna divide that by having a panel dot panel quad and in it I'm just going to add 10 here for the U and for the V probably I'm going to give a 50 straight which is from here to here it will be 10 division but vertically it's going to be like 50 which might be taking a seriously long amount of time so for you probably you're going to start 10 by 10 it's better to see the effect uh, unless if you have a very strong uh, laptop in this case just go ahead 
uh, for me I'm just gonna add 10 by 50 and then leave the computer for 10 minutes to, to calculate and I'll just pause that for you guys so you don't lose time by watching this process uh, eventually I will add uh, an adaptive component uh, by point of course and I'm depending on those divisions getting or gained by this uh, uh, points here and let me just cut that out let, let me show you the surfaces in case if you in case if you don't know or you don't understand what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about so I'm just making 5 by 5 here I'm gonna run that quickly just to show you the points in case if you don't understand want it shouldn't take too long anyway and as you can see it's now a uh, five division here and then vertically it's a uh, five division it causes significant amount of distortion of course to the surface because it's, it doesn't have enough segments in it so that's why we have to increase those into 10 and vertically into like 50 uh, I just wanted to show you that those are the panels or as the points but uh, the adaptive component by points it's work better if we just link the point in here anyway uh, family type that's what you need to write in here uh, to get the family type selector and then you know you gotta connect those guys like this now we need an adaptive component to load so uh, I'm just gonna go uh, here and in it I already have an adaptive component uh, wait just gonna go file uh, open family this one it's basically uh, a curtain panel pattern base like this one I made before and uh, if you don't know how to do that you just go back to one of the videos that I have done earlier in my channel to see how it's been done I'm gonna load that within the project here and then I'm gonna get back to it and close it it's a good idea to close it after you load it because Dynamo will 100% confused between uh, which file it works uh, for the adaptive component or for the for the main uh, project file environment here anyhow so I'm gonna pick it here that's the adaptive component the CPPB uh, that's all and all I have to hit now is run but before I'm just gonna get back to the U guy here and make it let's say uh, 10 or 15 and the vertical one I'm just gonna give it 50 so again uh, I'm gonna save of course and then I'm gonna hit run and then pause so that's my run and then I'm gonna hit pause and uh, that, that I don't want I, I don't want to you know like waste time uh, for make that video so long for you or too long for you so I'm, I'm gonna hit pause for that and then get back to you after it 